Athens-Clark Animal Shelter looking for volunteers to foster dogs, cats. Athens Animal Shelter is overflowing with cats and dogs during a seasonal spike that has swelled the facility to near capacity. athens Clark County Animal Services operates a shelter for surrendered and stray animals, mostly cats and dogs. The shelter has 53 cages for dogs, and as of Friday, they had 55 dogs, including a mother and eight puppies, who were not in a cage, but being kept in a separate room. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. The shelter also has nearly 200 cats and kittens available for adoption, 90 of which are in foster homes, and the remaining 100 at the facility on Buddy Christian Way. There are around 15 dogs in foster care as well. Spring and summer typically see a spike in animals at the shelter, Crystal Barber, ACC Animal Services Director, explained. Also, more kittens and puppies tend to be born then. Barber also suspects the increase in animals is due to more owner surrenders than usual. While there is the phenomenon of pandemic pets or animals adopted during the COVID-19 quarantine, Barber said most of the animals adopted during that time have luckily not returned to the shelter. The shelter is now scheduling surrenders two to four weeks out, asking the owners to hold on for a little while so that they can clear out the animals they already have. We're trying to tell people, listen, can you hold on to it for a few weeks? We don't have space, let us get a couple cages so that we can have your animal here and you don't have to make any other decisions," said Barber. And some of those other decisions could be euthanasia, which the shelter has not had to perform since March 2020. But because the facility is a municipal shelter, euthanasia is an option if space becomes an issue and there are no other options. There are options before reaching euthanasia, such as sending the animals to fosters or rescues. In fact, on Friday, the rescue group Our Pals Place from Marietta was at the Athens shelter to take some of the dogs. The shelter also is currently overrun because it had to shut down for a few days after one dog, Tsunami, was discovered to have parvovirus, a contagious and deadly canine disease. The shelter was forced to quarantine until August 4 and any dogs coming into the shelter then were instead taken to Oconee County, where they will stay until Monday. Tsunami was the only dog to catch Parvavirus, and she has since recovered. Tsunami will be available for adoption, along with all the other dogs, on Saturday from noon to 3. During this time, visitors can walk in without an appointment to meet and adopt the dogs and cats. Otherwise, those interested in adopting or visiting the shelter will have to make an appointment due to COVID-19. For those who cannot adopt, the shelter is also in need of fosters for both dogs and cats. Applicants can go to the Animal Services website and select the Community Services tab and foster to fill out the form. A home check will be conducted via video due to the pandemic and successful applicants will be matched with the animal best for them. When someone fosters an animal, the shelter will provide all the food, medical supplies, litter and anything else the animal may need. The shelter also accepts donations, including food, toys, treats and cat litter. Barber asked that any monetary donations be given to Athens Pets, a local volunteer organization, rather than the shelter.